So in terms of part of your, your first ventures as an interior designer, you've, all, you've said that um, you are self-taught. Yeah. Did you compare yourself to the pros when you started? Well, I'm, first of all, I'm not really an interior designer. I'm a television producer. You know, um, uh, you know I mean, everybody sees me as that, but my big passion was, was, was television. And, you know, that's what I, I fell into in, in London, trained at the BBC, and then ended up, you know, it's always a man's fault, meeting a guy, coming to Canada, having two kids, and then he didn't have quite as much money as he told me he had. Didn't he have any? <laughs> um, and basically, he kind of, his business went under, and I had to do something, and I was a young mum, and so I started painting houses. I mean, it's not exactly brain surgery, picking up a brush. But then I got into all this, you know, I can make your walls look like, like stone, I can get, you know, make them look like marble, and, and uh, it, it's, success is about, understanding um, what, you know, that you're onto something, you know, that there's interest. And, you know, people would stand behind me and go, oh, I'd like to do that. You know, how, how do you, you know? So after about four years of going up and down ladders, I made a video and then this video went to number one and it was called Paint Finishes Made Easy. And I sold a million copies in America and Canada. And I started to go on chat shows. And, you know, people would in do an interview like this and there was, look at me as if this was going to be the most boring interview they'd ever done. And actually, some of them said that to me. You know, we've got Debbie Travis here, she's a painter. It's like, oh my God, you know. And then, but the audience was there and it was the beginning of the hobby becoming, you know, interesting. And, and uh, suddenly you got this massive following and one thing led to another and, and the video became a television show and it became a pioneer, especially in Canada, because it was the first of the... It's like hitting the right timing, you know, of specialty shows, you know, the golf channel. You know, if you played golf, you could have your own channel just for golf. You could have your own sports channel. You could have your own food channel. And, and I did this decorating show and it, it, it exploded. And, and now there's whole channels just on the subject. So, and I was kind of learning along. I was maybe one step ahead of the, of the viewer, you know, teaching them. So I wasn't an expert and I'd love to think I'm some top designer, but, but I'm not, but it was, my talent was actually bringing this audience and saying, come on, I'll show you for young mums at home or people who just wanted to do something on the cheap. And it was the beginning of the DIY era. So um, for me, it was putting back on my producer's hat and, um, and being able to share that with everybody and create great, great programs.